issued the following warning following today's recent event that has just occurred. Due to the random unidentifiable object that entered the Earth's atmosphere at around 12 o'clock, all road and air traffic are to cease and we advise all residents who can hear this to either find shelter immediately or stay indoors if possible. If you hear noises from outside, do not investigate. If somebody you do not know requests to be let indoors, do not let them. They may try to convince you that they mean no harm, this is how they typically gain trust. If by any chance one of these entities do manage to enter, try to maintain as much distance between you and it as possible. Stay safe and God bless.
In January of 1945, the Creeks Marine Commission the sole example of its Type 31 U-boat, the largest and most advanced of its fleet submarines, under the command of Kapitan Leutnant Hans Friedrich von Schlichter, himself a reputable U-boat ace with 23 sinkings to his credit. No schematics of the vessel have survived to this day, but unconfirmed reports suggest that the submersible generated power from an experimental reactor, itself the supposed byproduct of later day Third Reich experiments into the phenomenon of dark matter. The hour and date of the U-boat's last recorded transmission coincides with an attack by two short Sunderlands of coastal command upon a submersible of similar degree. The first aircraft was shot down by the U-boat's automated anti-aircraft Von Schlechter promptly ordered a crash dive, and the second Sunderland released its payload with reportedly inconclusive results. What followed remained a byproduct of idle speculation, but I'll venture to guess as what happened. The resulting explosion damaged the submarine's reactor core, culminating in instability which facilitated irregularities in dark matter projection, effectively conducive to the generation of new black holes. The rest you could say is, well, history. No trace of U-1536 has ever been found. That is, until three days ago. Whatever dimensional rip that consumed the vessel, the reactor appears to elicit signs of instability, and several ships and aircraft have already disappeared within its vicinity. The United Nations is currently deliberating in favor of an initiative to destroy U-1536, but my preliminary research into the relatively unknown phenomenon at work here leads me to believe that such measures would only aggravate the problem. This is where the impulses of a freelancer like myself come into play. If there's anything I've learned, it's that when faced with short-sighted initiatives driven by committee, if you want anything done right, you have to do it yourself. Time to get my hands dirty.
Wir sind nicht hier, haben wir nicht. Das kannst du nicht wahr. Curious. If you think about it, the concept of interdimensional travel hardly any less far-fetched. And the circumstances don't alter the nature of the current predicament. So I have no motivation to lie to you. Predicament? That has happened. Perhaps you haven't heard, the reactor malfunctioned in perpetuating the disappearance of ships and aircraft in your vicinity. Not to mention those interdimensional aliens that keep swarming all over the place. These problems are liable to continue unless the reactor is repaired. Do you know of any such means? I'm a covenant employment in the service of the Father. I command ships. I know nothing about such machinery. I figured as much. I suppose too that the experimental nature of the reactor would have required the supervision of an individual reasonably knowledgeable on the subject. Yes, very close to my engineer. But he's dead, like the others. And perhaps I can make sense of any documentation lying around. Are there any schematics? Yes. Where are they? My quarters. Here's the key. Thanks. In the meantime, think you can make the medical wing? Yes. Good. Head there for now, wait for me. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh my god.